I changed my mind on something today. Um, all the music from uh, on the radio show, other than the opening number and closing number that are actually mine, I will, well, they're made for me. I will be playing songs by Mr. Dickie Weed, who his real identity was Michael Smothman, one of my best friends I've ever had. Um, now, I got to get a sip. It's 12.40 in the afternoon on February 2nd, 2021. I would have already done this, but, uh, and no overalls today. I've got things I've got to do that preclude me from being my normally hobo-looking self. I have to uh, look nice the rest of the day. And uh, after the after this vlog and after the radio show, Linda's got to take me down to Ardmore. I've got to go to Jerry's gun shop and buy me a left-handed shoulder holster so that when I dress like this, I'm not carrying a gun around in my boot. I like my gun to where I can get readily to it. Right now, I have to pull my pants leg up, reach down there and get it out of that holster. It's a nice piece. I mean, I've had it in a long time. It's uh, dead on accurate. And I carried that thing for a long time when I was a street cop. So the gun and I were old buddies. But uh, we just got back from the school, Nick and I did. Davis Public School, in case of them, any of them see this, I just want them to know they've, they're some of our favorite people. And like Nick and I told the ladies there, if this pandemic ever goes away, the boys will be back in Davis Public School. They have wonderful educators there. And their staff for dealing with special needs children I don't think there's a better staff anywhere on the planet, and I absolutely believe that. Um, and it was after a lot of prayer that we decided to pull the kids out. Um, with Epic, they can get one-on-one -on -one instruction, and uh, that's a have-to deal. It really is. They have to be able to talk to a teacher. Man, it's bright in here. These are my actual prescription type sunglasses, not not prescription like that. It's for dark and light. Uh, it's lighter at the bottom so I can read in a certain hue across the top so that I can keep from damaging my eyes further. Last night, we, Linda and I were driving. It was either Linda or who was it? Um... Benj and I had to go to Ardmore to Lowe's for a deal, but I was driving in the dark and my night vision is excellent. The only thing I like is they make these yellow anti-glare shades that cut down on glare from oncoming traffic and I didn't have those with me. I'm gonna get an extra pair and keep one pair in Linda's Navigator and one pair inside the Expedition which by default has become my running around car. Um, took it down to Lone Grove uh, m and machine shop or m and garage. They did an excellent job on it. I was a little trepidatious. I thought maybe they'd burnt me because he, when I talked to him, he was talking about, well, the vents don't work. We're going to have to see what it is, tell you what it'll cost to fix it. And then when I got there, Turns out there's a vacuum line loose under the hood and the tech guy fixed it real quick. The car works immaculately. Um, it's nowhere as nice as the Navigator we got, Linda, but it, it is a fine car for what I need. 
not as nice to me as my van, but then I'm partial to that old beast. You know, just a second. I went to see my buddy Jerry. He owns like uh, nine lodges here locally. And he had a water leak at lodge number four. And I said, how do you know there was a water leak? Well, because I went from having a $30, $38 a month bill to a $300. So I understand. I, I paid the water bill <laughs> a minute ago and paid the trash bill. Uh, money just boo, like that. And I imagine you're finding the same thing. The other thing we had happen is we've got a septic problem. Nick's going to work on that after he gets a hold of the people at Epic Charter School. Uh, the boys go into the school immediately. And um, the lady at, at Davis Public Schools actually got us the material for... Uh, Aurora, so Aurora wants to go into Epic, she should be able to do so now. Um, I'm gonna have to go find a hot spot, a deal that all that works off of radio towers because if I get one another feed like the one I've got, they do this, but with a cell tower uh, reception thing, it's not a problem. It'll uh it'll feed well enough for them to use their laptops, their uh, Chromebooks, to school. I just haven't gone and do that. I'll do that tomorrow. I've got too much on my plate today. I've got, uh, like I said, I've got to buy me a shoulder holster so when I'm dressed like this, I, I don't want to carry the gun on my belt because it thinks so heavy it pulls my pants down, believe that or not. Um, the last thing I need to do is be running around with my butt showing. Now, to my unnamed friend in Lone Grove, America, there's your number right there. I'll be reading it out on a, um, the podcast. Uh, you guys have 3,000, or 3,000. Lone Grove's had 398 people be infected, and it's up two overnight. So... Um, that's a lot slower than everybody else, except for, uh, Johnston County. Their whole county only went up three. Now, Mom and John, after this funeral's over with next week, and after everything else we gotta do is over week, Linda and I, I will need you to text me your address. And we will pick you and, and John up and go adventuring. Um, we'll show up in the nice car. The Expedition's nice too, but that thing rides like a buckboard. And it's got good struts on it and everything. It's just that it's not made the same as a Navigator. Navigator's the cream of the crop that Lincoln puts out, basically. And uh, we've got a good one now. I'm, later today, I'm taking her old one and parking it out beside Benji's pickup that's broke. He's supposed to get that fixed. Don't know if he is or not. Uh, but that gives everybody a parking space. I park my van anywhere I want to, but we've got, right now we've got... Two navigators, a suburban, my van, and Nick's van parked in front of the house. And I've got the expedition parked behind my van or behind the old navigator. What I need to do is get that thing moved out of there, lock it up. And that way, um, there's an extra space. And where the, the old navigator is, expedition to go there. Now, there are some scary things getting ready to happen. Don't be scared. Just don't. God still is large and in charge. And uh, we've got fuel storage. Our next step is to buy some things called a EMP uh, preventer to go on the vehicles. I don't need one on my van. It's already wired for it. 
but we need one for Nick Suburban and need uh, one for the Navigator and for the the uh, Expedition. They're 400 bucks a piece, and we're about out of money. We've uh, <laughs> spent a ton and going to spend a ton more. But Mom, John, I love you with all my heart. Michael, Paul, we'll see you too when we can get to it. Uh, we've uh, we've got to take care of some things here at the farm and take care of some family things right now. And after that, we'll be freed up a little bit to do a little bit of traveling. Linda and I have done some since she got that navigator, and it helps with her sanity because... We've got a lot of stuff on us. It would be nice if we had a normal life, but we don't. And you've got five grandchildren running around the farm full time. And you've got all the animals we've got and all the problems we got. Um, you need a getaway time. And uh, I'm looking at getting the materials to build a laundry room onto the back of the house that would uh, greatly improve things too. We just haven't done it yet. And the problem is the back of the house, we live on a hill, is five feet off the ground. So we'll get around to it. We got to get the septic fixed first. Now, God bless you. I love all of you. I do. And I hope your day is really a good one. And I'll do this again tomorrow. Bye.